precisa Hello everybody On this video I want to talk about this um, nice command or package called MPX So what is MPX? MPX is a package that is made to execute NPM packages and binaries and this doesn't mean anything but I can explain to you why I like it and why should you use it um, by the way a disclaimer here MPX is not new as you can see it's published eight months ago so it's not like I'm telling you new shit if you know MPX bye bye if you don't maybe you would like to use it um, so the story is usually that when we have a package such as create react app for example or something like webpack um, what we usually do is that we do yarn global at create react app right create react app and we save it in our computer globally and then when we need to execute it we just do create react app create react app and then the name of the of the product right this is one example so create react app is installed globally because maybe we might use it later um, and this is where the part of the problem uh, happens the problem is that create react app it's a module that we don't use often we might we might i mean we might use it often we create one react app every day but sometimes we don't use that often but it's installed in our computer and it's taking space also the other problem is that i can st i can install create react app right now and then maybe in a month i'm gonna use it and it's outdated and very few people very few people do an update of the library of the package before they use it so very few people are going to do a uh, john upgrade create react app and then create react app in the project we just we just usually forget about this and we usually just execute the package we downloaded long time ago this could happen with people that run webpack this could happen with people that run uh maybe gulp right so that's a problem because first we don't have, we don't uh, update it as we should so we might be running an old version the other one is that maybe um we don't use it that often so it's in our computer doing nothing um so yeah that's a problem all right so this is what npx does what npx does is that it allows you to call to call any npm package without having to save it in your computer so i'm going to come here because i have create react app installed so i'm going to do yarn global remove create react app and it's going to delete it now we check i'm going to do create react app and as you can see it says command not found all right so i'm going to go to my desktop and if i run create react app it shouldn't be fun either all right now what i want to do is create a new project okay so if you have npm i think more version more than five i think npm version i think so i'm not sure mpx is already installed if you if you use yarn then you need to install mpx yarn global at mpx all right now that it's installed let's see if it works mpx and it works all right so it's installed so now what we're going to do is that we're going to say to mpx we want him to run create react app and we're going to create a folder called frontend for example and i want you to see what happens what's going to happen is that wait one second here as you can see npn automatically downloaded create react app executed create react app frontend all right installed everything and it was it was making the whole application all right and that's awesome in my opinion do i have frontend yes i did and it did create the frontend package so how cool is that all right so you don't have to install anything you can just install mpx and then you can run whatever you can do webpack if you want and then it was going to run webpack it's going to download webpack for you and then it's going to execute whatever command you tell him to execute and then after it's done it's going to delete it yeah as you can see here i have to install the cli but fuck it 
all right? So it did call the command. And this is something that I've been using now a lot because, for example, I work a lot with Expo. So what I do is I do Expo in it, for example, and this will download the newest version of Expo and then I'm going to I'm going to initialize it. Um, this package stays on the cache of your computer and if you delete the cache, it's going to go away. But what it does is that it basically downloads the package, executes it, and it will leave it there temporarily and then it will delete it if you stop using it, which is... It's cool because you save space in your computer and you don't, I mean, yeah, it's, it's awesome. All right. Just go ahead, look into it. I use it a lot. Uh, I just wanted to give you this tip because I think it's good uh, to save space in your computer and to always run the newest version of everything. Um, so yeah, use MPX for global packages. Don't install global packages that much. Just install MPX and then you can run Expo. You can run Create React App. You can run Gulp. You can run Webpack. Webpack CLI. And that's it. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have used MPX, let me know. If you think I made a mistake on this video, please also let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know why. Um, I, 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 I usually, when I tell you to comment, is because I actually care about your comments. I don't know if you realize this, but I answer to almost, I try to answer to every fucking comment I get. So I do read the comments. That's what I ask you. Not just because I want people commenting on my videos. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.